Okay, so now I verified my order um, from my provider that the patient needs to have telemetry monitoring. There are several indications for telemetry monitoring. Um, one of the um, indications could be that the patient comes in with a um, maybe irregular rate or um, some dysrhythmias and the provider wants to monitor those or perhaps they're having um, some medications that they need to get, cardiac medications where we do need to monitor them while we're giving them. There's many different indications, but I'm gonna show you now how to um, place telemetry monitor on a patient. So again, you wanna make sure that you um, introduce yourself to the patient, wash your hands, and also uh, make sure you put the bed to a comfortable height, provide per privacy, and explain to the patient what you're gonna do. And after you verify the patient's, um, identify the patient and verify that it is who you want to put the telemetry monitoring on. All right, so I come in, I verify, I check allergies, everything verifies on the chart, and I explain to the patient what I'm going to be doing. So the patient should be in a lying position because we're gonna be putting the um, electrodes on the chest. And if they can tolerate that, that would be the most appropriate place to have the patient positioned. Then I'm going to um, always just make sure that if there's any assessments, such as a cardi cardiovascular assessment that you need to do, that you do that prior to this. And we're gonna discreetly expose the patient's chest wall. Okay. And then also look at the chest wall and notice if there's any, um, you know, any like, moisture that you need to remove with either um, soap and water or and make sure you dry it well or if there's some areas that you may need to use an alcohol pad to prepare it. Um, also if it's a, um, a patient that has hair on the chest you perhaps would want to clip that um, or avoid those really hairy areas because you want to have good conduction, electrical conduction. So um, when the electrodes are on hair it doesn't really provide a very good um, conducive um, waveform. All right, so with our patient here, we have um, the chest wall exposed. And like I said, you can utilize prep pads um, before you put the electrodes on to make them kind of stick a little better. And then we have our electrodes here. So we're gonna be using five leads with this patient. All right, so our first lead is we're gonna have one on the, the right and the left upper extremity. You wanna place it somewhere between that humeral um, joint up in here. Try to avoid them right on the bone. And then we have the left upper arm area or chest wall area. Here. And then we're going to go into the fourth intercostal. So we're going to try to find our fourth intercostal space. Okay, that's there. And we're going to do that on the right side of the chest. Then we're going to do our lower ground. So that'd be right below the rib cage here. And then your other one on the right side below the rib cage, the distal end of the rib cage. So now that I have them placed, I'm gonna go ahead and put my, attach my wires to that. And your wires are color coded. So we have our, and it tells you right on them usually, but it's right arm, left arm. So we have the white that's gonna go on the right side. And then we have the black that's gonna go on the left side. And then we have the left lower. And then we have the right lower, which is the green. And then we have the one here, which is our B1. And that would be on um, to the right of the um, mid, uh, your sternum. 
and around the fourth intercostal space for that one. So now we have all of our electrodes placed and the patient is now on telemetry monitoring. So you wanna make sure you're monitoring your patient's rhythm and notify the providers if there's any changes or any symptoms that may be occurring. So again, our culture of safety, bed locked and lowered, side rails up as, and also call light within reach and tray table within reach.